My name is Brooke Kaufman and I'm the CEO of Visit Casper and today I want to talk a little bit about how important tourism is to our local economy and I also want to talk about some tools and tips and tricks and ways that we can interact with our visitors that leave them with a positive memorable experience while they're traveling through Wyoming. Tourism is a hugely competitive industry. So there are states that compete for tourists, there are local destinations like ours, uh, there's countries, there's nations. It's a huge business and people spend a lot of money to bring tourists to their area because they understand the value of new money in their economy. But here's the deal. All of these locations can spend all of these millions of dollars to bring people to our communities and then they get to a community and we fall down on service or we're not able to answer their questions or we tell them there's nothing to do or this place is windy and boring. So even if we can get the visitors there, if we don't give them a good experience, then we really fall down on the back end. So I just wanted to share a couple of things that we teach. The real differentiator is you. So again, we can spend millions of dollars to bring people to the state of Wyoming, but in the end, who they're gonna interact with is really our front line. And I think sometimes we don't stress the importance of your job and the way you interact with visitors and how critical you really are to the success of the state of Wyoming and our local economies. We really value your contribution. What you do is so important for all of us. So in 2017, the state of Wyoming welcomed 8.7 million people. So let's think about this for a second. If those 8.7 million people have four touch points while they're traveling, that's over 36 million times we, as the front line in the state of Wyoming, have the opportunity to get it right. So does it matter if we can answer their questions? It does. Does it matter if we can give good directions? It absolutely does. Does it matter if we do it with a smile on our face? It absolutely does. So you can see how that multiplier effect, so not only is it 8.7 million visitors, but they're touching all of us from all over the state in their interactions. So it's super, super critical that we are able to get them the information they need and we do it with a smile. When somebody asks you, what is there to see and do? I've got a couple hours in your city, what's going on? It's easy for us to then go back and say, well, how much time do you have? And what are your interests? So that way we can pair their available time or resources with things that they actually wanna do, instead of sometimes shoving maybe what we think that they should do down their throat. So try it sometime if you're not already. It's a, it's a, really, it's a really strong tactic for making sure somebody has a good experience in your destination. The next thing I would say is practice some empathy. So think about how you feel when your luggage is lost or you somebody doesn't give you good directions or you've been waiting for a table for over an hour in a restaurant. You're probably pretty irritated or grumpy or you know there's a whole host of adjectives that we could use with this. So if somebody's standing in front of you and if the same thing has happened to them, ha show some empathy. So it doesn't mean we have to feel sorry for them, but how would they feel? How would you feel if you were in their shoes? And then it's easier to help solve those problems or close the gap on those challenges and get them where they're going. Did you know that 90% of communication is nonverbal? That's incredible to me. So we're saying so much with our posture, with our eye contact, with the words that are coming out of our mouth, if we're rolling our eyes or we're disinterested, there's so many things that can come across as negative. So I would say really be mindful of your body language and how you're interacting. And listen really actively instead of passively. So instead of, you know, I'm trying to answer your question before you even ask it, really make that visitor feel heard. It's gonna make a very big difference in their experience with us. It's also important for all of us who are on the front line and interacting with visitors to really know our product. So this is a good excuse to get around the state. It's a good excuse to get out into your community and really tour your attractions, eat at your restaurants, you know, walk into the front desk of a hotel and see what the service is like. The more we know about our destinations, the more confidence we have, and the more we're really able to answer those visitor questions in a way that makes, that makes a good fit and a good pairing for them and what they're trying to accomplish in their time with us.
tourism is the second largest industry in the state of Wyoming. And no matter what's going on with our primary industry of energy, tourism is a real stabilizer for the Wyoming economy. Really what you do every day matters. It's contributing to our economy, it's contributing to our quality of life, it's contributing to our communities, and it's contributing to our, our visitor economy, and that's so important. So I just want to say thank you for being on the front line, thank you for doing what we do, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.